Okay, for example three, we're going to be graphing another two-piece function. And remember, folks, it's as simple as one piece at a time. So let's read this together. f of x equals top piece cosine of x plus one whenever x is not equal to pi. Bottom piece f of x is equal to three whenever x is equal to pi. So the question I have in my mind is, so the top is going to give us a big graph except for at pi. The bottom will tell us what to plug in for the what the y value will be at pi. Will this fill in the hole like it did in example one? Let's see. So let's, step one, let's graph the first piece. f of x equals cosine of x plus one. We're going to plug in this value in our in, value in a, into our interval, even though we know it's going to be a hole there because it's not equal to. So let's go ahead and plug in pi in for x. Cosine of pi is equal to negative one. Negative one plus one is zero. So therefore, I know there's going to be a point at pi comma zero, and that says solid. That is wrong. That's going to be a hole. And again, that's going to be a hole because it's not equal to uh, pi. Glad I corrected that. Okay, next up, we got to plug in points that aren't equal to pi to the left and right of pi. So uh, let's see. Well, pi over four is is uh, less than pi, so uh, we'll plug that in. Uh, cosine. You could plug in pi over two. I mean, whatever you want to do doesn't matter. Um, just plug in two or three points, and you should be good. Um, okay. I guess the order doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I could plug in pi over 4 first and then pi over 2. I usually try to increment myself, but that's fine. Um, they're still going to end up on the graph. Okay, so cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 over 2, <laughs> square root of 2 over 2, which equals 0. 0.7. We, we've went over that many times. It's 1.4 over 2. 0. 0.7 plus 1 is 1.7, so f of pi over 4 is 1.7. So my next point on the graph is going to be pi over 4 comma 1.7. And it's going to be solid because pi over 4 is part of this interval. Next, we'll go ahead and plug in pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. And 0 plus 1 is 1. So my next point will be pi over 2 comma 1. And it will be solid because it's not equal to pi. Uh, but Because pi over 2 is not equal to pi. By the way, we're, we're, we're choosing points to the left of pi right now. We also have to choose points that are bigger than pi or to the right. Next, we're going to go 3 pi over 4, which is also less than pi. This is bothering me though. Let's put the um Well no, I guess I'm going from smaller to bigger. That's that's fine. So three pi over four is just before pi. Th cosine of three pi over four is a negative square root of two over two because it's in the second quadrant, which is the approximately negative zero point seven. Cosine of x plus one, so it's negative point seven plus one, which is point three. So my next point is three pi over four comma point three, and it's gonna be a solid point. Well, wow, that's that's something I already did. I already figured this point out. Cosine of pi is equal to zero. I did that at the beginning, so not sure why I did that again. But anyways, it's going to be on the graph regardless. Um, okay, so now let's choose points that are bigger than pi. So let's start with 5 pi over 4. Cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2 because it's in the third quadrant. Negative 0 0.7 plus 1 is 0.3. So that's going to be a solid point because it's part of this interval. X is 5 pi over 4 is not equal to pi. The only point that's not going to be solid is at pi, which we just looked at. It's going to be a hole. Okay, next up, um, cosine of x plus 1 x is not equal to pi. We're going to choose 3 pi over 2, also bigger than pi. Cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So I'm going to have a solid point at 3 pi over 2 comma 1. Next, we're going to plug in 7 pi over 4. Cosine of 7 pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2, which is 0. 0.7 approximately. Plus 1 is 1.7. There's our next point. Finally, I was an overachiever, and I plugged in 2 pi, and I got 2 back, also a solid point. So those are all the points I just figured out including my hole. I'm just re-clicking on them so you can see what all these points are figured out. I jumped the gun here. Okay, so those are the points that I have so far. Now we're going to get to step two. Now why do I connect them with a, a curve? Well, I know that cosine is a wave and I know there's a hole here so my wave is not going to go through that hole but it will curve around it and make this sine or it's actually called a sine wave even though it's cosine but it will make this wavy function. Now I'm going to graph my second piece which was on the bottom. It said f of x was 3 whenever x was equal to pi. So now there's going to be a point at pi comma 3. And just to refresh your memory, that's what that bottom piece looked like. I don't want you to get confused. 
So at pi over 3, I'm actually going to place this, whoops, I'm going to place this solid point up here. Why did it do that? Uh, at pi comma 3. And so, no, it did not fill in the hole this time. In, in the example 1, it did fill in the hole, but it doesn't have to. The bottom piece does not have to fill in that hole. That's part of the reason why I showed you guys this example. Also, it involves a trick function in graphing many points and seeing the different pieces of this piecewise function. That's it for this example. If you have any other questions about it, let me know.